welcome along just a quick video just to keep getting asked the same question a lot um, installing plugins and setting up for other things to connect to OBS and your first thing you're going to need is OBS WebSocket a lot of people say that they're, they're not too confident about moving stuff around just unzipping files and, and so forth well you don't have to do that anymore so we're going to show you how to do that so without further ado we'll move on and uh, we get cracking. Right. Now, what we're going to do is gonna open OBS. It is a just a basic install of OBS. Um, as you can see, there's no WebSocket enabled at the moment, and also, obviously, no plugins. Right, so what we're going to do, because I hate moving all the folders about, plus it's a pain if you have to keep updating and you're not sure which ones are out of date, which ones are in date, because they're all just in the OBS files. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to download this little bit of software, the most handy bit of software that will save you loads of time, loads of aggro, loads of searching for stuff as well. Um, so just click on a download all the links will be in the description below so click on there I've already got this downloaded so I'm just going to scrap that and we'll go straight to where the file is so it's just a simple normal install I'm going to, I'm going to install in its default location and install it's that quick And there we go. All right. It is now all up. As you can see, there's nothing to nothing installed yet. So far. The good thing about this is that it will automatically find your um, OBS. If not, you can go into the settings if you put it into some erroneous place around your PC but for the default location it will automatically detect it so then just go to discover and you can either search through all the plugins which are there and whichever ones you want to use no problem but for ours we'll just be putting OBS WebSocket and to install it are you sure oh yeah we've got to close OBS so we'll just close that Close OBS and then we'll just click install. That should only take a second, but um, that's it. Now, if I open OBS, WebSocket for the first time, do we want to configure it? Yeah, obviously we do. Um, I'll leave the port number as standard, put in your own personal password, whichever you prefer. That's just basically to keep you safe, even on your own network, because you never know what your kids are up to. Not all the time, anyway. Um, and that's it. Once you put a password in, click OK. And then if you need to change it, you look under Tools, WebSocket Server Settings, and you come back to the same screen. It is as simple as that. And then also in future, if it... Um, comes up and needs an update if you look under the updated tabs it will show here but there you go that shows what plugins we've got installed so far it's as simple as that and this will show all your plugins here any that need updating will be here and you just click update and it will just update them all it is simple rather than unzip this paste that copy this move that let your head explode that sort of thing um so that is it for your first lesson. That is all you need. Um, and you always have stuff go off when you don't want it to go off. Typical. Um, right. Um, like and subscribe, follow for more. And uh, we'll be back next time with installing StreamerBot version 1.8. 
and connecting it up to OBS and then we'll go from there as we get further into the videos of uh, how to add more stuff, how to get streamer block channel points, how to get everything else working with your alerts and we'll be adding in stream elements as well and uh, yeah, anything else you want to put in the description that you want to learn basically we'll go from there okay until next time take it easy and enjoy yourself all right well you need to stream in and you want to know how to use um, plugins and stuff and you don't like moving shit around in the um, folders right so basically there is an easy way around it I'm going to show you how and also we're going to get the uh, OBS web WebSocket installed so as we can uh, use other stuff that will come along in the future alright let's get into it and uh, crack on right now what we're going to do is gonna open OBS it is a just a basic install of OBS um, as you can see there's no WebSocket enabled at the moment and also obviously no plugins right so what we're going to do because I hate moving all the folders about plus it's a pain if you have to keep updating and you're not sure which ones are out of date which ones are in date because they're all just in the OBS files right so what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to download this little bit of software the most handy bit of software that will save you loads of time loads of aggro loads of searching for stuff as well um, so just click on a download all the links will be in the description below so click on there I've already got this downloaded so I'm just going to scrap that and we'll go straight to where the file is so it's just a simple normal install I'm going, to, I'm going to install it in its default location. And install, it's that quick. And there we go. All right. It is now all up. As you can see, there's nothing to nothing installed yet so far. The good thing about this is that it will automatically find your um, OBS. If not, you can go into the settings if you put it into some erroneous place around your PC. But for the default location, it will automatically detect it. So then just go to Discover, and you can either search through all the plugins which are there and whichever ones you want to use, no problem. But for ours, we'll just be putting OBS WebSocket. And to install it, are you sure? Oh, yeah, we've got to close OBS, so we'll just close that. Close OBS, and then we'll just click Install. That should only take a second, but um, that's it. Now, if I open OBS, WebSocket for the first time. Do we want to configure it? Yeah, obviously we do. Um, I'll leave the port number as standard. Put in your own personal password, whichever you prefer. That's just basically to keep you safe, even on your own network, because you never know what your kids are up to. Not all the time, anyway. Um, and that's it. Once you put a password in, click OK. And then if you need to change it, you look under Tools, WebSocket server settings and you come back to the same screen. It is as simple as that. And then also in future, if it um, comes up and needs an update, if you look under the updated tabs, it will show here. But there you go, that shows what plugins we've got installed so far. It's as simple as that. And this will show all your plugins here. Any that need updating will be here. And you just click update and it will just update them all it is simple rather than unzip this paste that copy this move that let your head explode that sort of thing um yep yeah. so that is it 
your first listen, that is all you need. Um, and you always have stuff go off when you don't want it to go off. Typical. Um, right. Um, like and subscribe, follow for more, and uh, we'll be back next time with installing StreamerBot version 1.8 and connecting it up to OBS. And then we'll go from there as we get further into the videos of uh, how to add more stuff, how to get StreamerBot channel points, how to get everything else working with your alerts. And we'll be adding in stream elements as well. And uh, yeah, anything else you want to put in the description that you want to learn, basically. We'll go from there. Okay, until next time. Take it easy and enjoy yourself.